Hi guys, so in this video I want to show you a couple of quick examples of how to factorise an expression and we're going to be dealing with what uh, some books call type 1 and that's basically expressions where a common factor can be found for all terms. So if I take you back to what you would have done previously in maths which is to do with expanding brackets. So if we look at an example let's say where we had 2 bracket x plus 5. And if you were asked to expand that bracket or multiply the bracket, hopefully you remember that you have to multiply the 2 by everything inside the bracket. So that's going to become 2x plus 10. Now, with factorising, basically we're going backwards. So the exam question is going to give us this and they want us to get back to this point. It may seem complicated, but actually it's very straightforward. So let's do a different question because obviously we can see the answer to this one. Let's say we had 3y plus 6. And what you're going to be asked to do in a question is you're going to be asked to factorise. So if we're asked to factorise that expression, we need to think what do those two numbers or two terms, I should say, have in common? So do they have any common factors between them? Do they have any common letters between them, etc, etc. So hopefully what you've spotted is that the highest common factor between 3 and 6 is the number 3. So the highest number that they both have in common or are divisible by is the number 3. They don't have any letters in common, so we're going to put 3 on the outside of a bracket. And we're going to say 3 multiplied by what gives me 3y. And that's going to be y. And 3 multiplied by what gives me plus 6. And that's going to be plus 2. And that's your answer. And if you wanted to test yourself, just multiply that bracket again. And you'll see 3 times y gives you 3y. And 3 times plus 2 gives me plus 6. Let's try another one. So if we had um, 5a plus 15b. So for this one, again, we're looking at what do they have in common? What's the common factors between these terms? So we'll see that they both have 5 and 15. So therefore, I'm looking for, okay, what is the highest common factor between 5 and 15? And hopefully we know that the highest number that will divide into both of those is 5. And the two letters are different, so they don't, they're not in common. So we're going to bring 5 to the outside of our bracket and then say 5 multiplied by what gives me 5a. That's going to be a. And 5 multiplied by what gives me 15b. So start off with the 15. What do you multiply 5 by to give you plus 15? That's going to be plus 3. And then we have to just pop the b on so that it will give us 15b. Okay, this question is a little bit trickier than the last few because this time we have numbers and letters that are in common between these two um, terms. So we're going to start off with the numbers. So we need to think first of all, what's the highest common factor that divides into 12 and 6? And hopefully we know that the highest number that will divide into 12 and 6 is actually the number 6. And then we ask ourselves, okay, look at those letters. So we have an a squared and we have an a. So what's the highest value of a in those two terms? And it's going to be, that's in common between those two terms, I should say, and that's going to just be a by itself. Because it couldn't be a squared because this guy doesn't have a squared on his shoulder. So I'm bringing that out to the outside of my bracket. And then on the inside of the bracket, we need to ask yourself, okay, 6 multiplied by what gives me 12? That's going to be 2. And a multiplied by what gives me a squared? And that's going to be a. Now, the next bit causes some confusion. So we have a 6a on the outside of my bracket, and I have a plus 6a here. Some people say, all right, I'm done now, because that's that there. However, I need to show that that is in my answer. So the way that we show that is we say, well, what do you multiply by 6a to get 6a? Well, of course, it's just the number 1. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So if we have 4ab plus 6b squared. So again, each of these is the same process. Look at the numbers and then look at the letters. So 4 and 6. What's the highest common factor between 4 and 6? It's going to be the number 2. So the highest number that will divide into 4 and 6 is the number 2. 
And then we say to ourselves, okay, between all those letters, is there anything in common? So what's the highest value of each of those letters uh, that's in common between both of them? And we'll see, well, the A isn't in common between both of them, so we can't pick the A, but there is a B and a B squared. So then we need to say to ourselves, okay, which one are we going to take? Well, we can only take the highest value that's in common between both terms. So we have to go with B. Then we're going to open our bracket and say to ourselves, what do you multiply by 2B to make it into 4AB? So 2 times what gives me 4? That's going to be 2. The B is already there, so I don't need to do anything with the B. However, there's another A in there, so I need to pop on the A. And then for my second term, we say to ourselves, what do I multiply by 2b to give me 6b squared? So 2 times what gives me 6? That's going to be plus 3. And b multiplied by what gives me b squared? That's going to be b. If you want to test yourself to make sure you've done that properly, 2b times 2a gives me 4ab. And 2b times 3a gives me 6b squared. So we know we've done it properly. Okay, the last one I want to show you before we try some questions is this. So it's 5x squared y minus 15xy squared. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is the fact that that squared in the first term relates to the x and that squared in the second relates to the y. So just be careful when you're looking at that. Okay, exact same process. What's in common between the two of them? Let's start off with the numbers. So what is the highest common factor between 5 and 15? It's going to be 5. So we're going to bring 5 to the outside. Now let's look at our letters. So looking at the x squared and the y and the x and the y squared, what's the highest value that's in common between all of those letters? So if we start off with the x, we'll see that there's an x squared and an x in common between the two. So the highest value of x that's in common between the two is going to just be x by itself. Now let's look at the y. We've got a y and we've got a y squared. So the highest value of y that's in common between the two is just going to be y. That's on the outside. Now let's open up our brackets. So we say to ourselves, what do you multiply by 5xy to get 5x squared y? Well, the 5 is already taken care of and the y is already taken care of and one of the x's is already taken care of. So all I need to do is multiply that by x to make that into an x squared. Then we go to the second term and we say, what do I multiply by 5 to get minus 15? So we need to be careful with the minus in this one. So straight away I know it's going to have to be a minus. And then 5 times what gives me 15? That's going to be 3. And then we look at our letters. So I already have an x on the outside, so that's taken care of. And I have one y, so to take into account the other y, I need to pop that beside the 3. If you want to double check your answer to make sure you've done it properly, let's test it out. So 5xy multiplied by x is going to give you 5x squared y. And 5xy multiplied by minus 3y is going to give me minus 5 by 3, which gives me 15. x, y times y gives me y squared. And I know I have the correct answer. So guys, if you can have a quick go at these questions and then pause the video and have a look at the answers. Okay, so first one, we're going to look at what numbers they have in common. So that's the number 5. And then we say to ourselves, what do you multiply by 5 to get 5b? That's going to be b. And what do you multiply by 5 to get 10? It's going to be plus 2. Second question, what numbers and letters do they have in common? So the highest common factor between 2 and 6 is going to be the number 2. And they've got no letters in common. So then we open up our bracket and say 2 times what gives me 2x squared, it's going to be x squared. And 2 times what gives me 6y, that's going to be plus 3y. Next one, highest common factor between 3 and 9 is going to be 3. And then the highest value of x between the two is just going to be x by itself. So 3x times what gives me 3x, really important, it's just 1. And then 3x multiplied by what gives me 9x squared? Well, 3 times 3 gives me 9, and x times x gives me x squared. And final one, chi's common factor between 4 and 2, that's going to give me 2. And any common letters between the two, well, they both have y, so we'll pop y on the outside. 
2y times what gives me 4x squared y? Well, 2 times 2 gives me 4. The y is already taken care of, so I just need to add on my x squared. And 2y times what gives me 2y plus 1.